For this question, I will discuss the hormonal changes as well as the changes in the endometrial wall that happens during the menstrual cycle. So the first phase I would like to talk about is the proliferative phase. The other name for it is the follicular phase. And during this stage, graphene follicles are producing estrogen. And what estrogen does is that it causes proliferation of the endometrial wall as well as increased vascularization. Now, because there is increased vascularization towards the end of follicular phase as well as part of the secretory phase, there would be edema of the uterus. So when estrogen level rises, at, as, as it passes a certain threshold, it causes increased luteinizing hormone. And what luteinizing hormone does is that it causes rupture of the follicle and thus the oocyte will be released. Now what remains of the follicle is referred to as corpus luteum and it produces progesterone. And what progesterone does is that it's just like estrogen, it causes proliferation of the endometrial wall as well as vascularization. One critical change, however, is that it decreases uterine contractions. The other name for secretary phase, I should also mention, is the luteinizing phase. Now what happens is that corpus luteum has a limited lifespan and um, in the absence of human chorionic gonadotropin, it will degenerate and once it degenerates due to decreased estrogen and decreased progesterone, the endometrial wall starts to shed and fall apart and so that's the time that menses occur. Now, um, one other point I would like to mention here is that proliferative phase is variable in different individuals. So they can be like three weeks or some individuals could be one week. So this phase, the duration can vary in different individuals. However, since the lifespan of corpus luteum in terms of days is like fixed, the secretary phase is always fixed for 14 days. All right, so at this stage, we just explained the changes that happens in the endometrial wall. Next, I would like to explain how graphian follicles produce estrogen. So this is a schematic drawing of a graphian follicle, and we have the theca externa here and then theca interna in this region. So these are the theca cells. And then the blue layer is the granulosa cells. And what happens is that upon stimulation by luteinizing hormone, theca cells will induce the conversion of cholesterol into androgen. And the enzyme that does that is the desmolase. And then later on, by stimulation via the FSH, granulosa cells induce the conversion of androgen into estrogen. And the enzyme that does that is the aromatase. So the mnemonic that you can use to always remember uh, which cells are associated with what type of stimulation and what type of hormone is E, F, G. So you know how alphabetic letter is A, B, C, D. Just ignore those, E, F, G. So estrogen is uh, produced by